So today we're going to be covering our electric buses and the differences that they have compared to our diesel counterpart. The motor is electric and is driven by electricity. So once the power is cut, it will shut down. And so as we're covering all this, we want to make sure that you have an understanding of all the minor nuances of this bus, because as those nuances add up, they can really cause major distractions. And we, that's what we really want to avoid. We want you to be comfortable about what you're doing in this bus. School buses have been around for a long time. Before school buses were an everyday means of transportation, students would ride in makeshift vehicles or horse-pulled wagons to be transported to school. When school buses were introduced into the public school system, it was a game changer. With school buses being around so long, you can see how they have withstood the test of time. But that doesn't mean there hasn't been a lot of trial and error since their introduction into the school system. School buses have developed and improved over the years. There have been safety standards that have been implemented to transport students safely. There has been safety equipment manufactured to adhere to those standards. And now we have entered a whole new era of safety in the school bus world. That is, the growing amount of electric buses being utilized in districts nationwide. Just like school buses were a game changer back in the day, electric buses are on a whole new level. Electric school buses are cleaner, easier to maintain, and a more cost-effective way to transport students. In this video, we're going to cover many important topics that you should know about before operating electric school buses. The video will help you understand the basic layout of electric buses and the features you should know about on them. Our guide throughout the video will be Ricardo Tostado, safety training instructor at Elk Grove Unified School District. He will be instructing Sylvia, a school bus driver, on the differences, procedures, and techniques that should be applied when starting to drive an electric school bus. We are also going to go over the importance of maintaining battery efficiency, charging the bus, and we will go over basic driving techniques unique to operating electric buses. The video will be divided into the following sections. As you can see, we have quite a bit we want to cover. So let's get started by going over why electric buses are a cleaner alternative for transporting students and a basic understanding of them. Electric school buses are being introduced into transportation departments now more than ever. Governments, schools, and communities are seeing the benefits of this. By powering the bus with electricity, there are no harmful pollutants being emitted into the air. This doesn't just make it safer for students, but also for you, school bus drivers. With 480,000 school buses operating daily in the U.S., you can see why this can have a major impact on air quality.